Hey guys and welcome! Today we're going to have a look at why ball pythons make excellent first-time snakes. But before we talk about that, I want to start off by saying that this video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. If you, like me, enjoy a little bit of everyday luxury, nothing too pricey, but still elegant, beautiful and handcrafted, then Ana Luisa might be something for you. And as you may be able to see, I'm actually wearing three pieces from Ana Luisa today. If you yourself are not that into these kinds of jewelry, then I can absolutely guarantee that they will make a wonderful gift. Most of them are 14 karat gold and I can almost guarantee that it will make whoever you're giving them to very very happy. For example these earrings that I'm wearing today they're going to be a gift for my sister. My sister is very colorful, she's very positive and she is just overall very caring, very loving so I thought that these earrings would make a perfect gift for her. You've actually met her son in one of my previous videos. The necklace that I'm wearing today is going to be a gift for my mother. My mother you've also met in one of my earlier videos as well. She has to be the coolest mother in the entire universe, so of course she really deserves something elegant, something beautiful, and I can assure you that this pretty pretty necklace definitely is. Ana Luisa has been so kind sponsoring this video, making it possible for me to make this video, but they've also done something extra for you guys. They've offered a discount and you can follow it right down in the link below in the description box. And if you remember to add in the coupon saying Justice 10, that will give you a 10% discount. Now that is just awesome. So I can highly recommend for you guys, if you're fancying maybe one of these three pieces or maybe something entirely different, that you go on and check out Ana Luisa's website. All right guys, let's get back to the video. Today I really want to honor ball pythons, these amazing creatures. And they are one of the most common snakes to find in a household, right next to the corn snake, who is also a great snake. But the ball python is really something for itself. I've listed a few reasons why I think that these guys make an excellent first time snake. Today is only going to be an entire positive video, so I'm only going to look at the uh, pros of having ball pythons as your first time snake. I'm also going to do another video which is only going to be the negative about it. And I've never done that before, so that's going to be quite challenging to see if I can actually manage that. But today we're going all positive. Reason number one is that the ball python do get to be a pretty great size, which means that it doesn't grow too big, like you're not going to end up with a massive snakes, three to four meters, but it only usually grows to be around 1.5 meters. Of course, there are some that gets bigger, and there are some that get smaller. In general, the females get bigger, whereas the males get smaller. So if you're looking into a ball python, if you want to go to the big side, get a female. If you want to have something a little bit smaller, then get a male. Bull pythons also get quite heavy on the body, which means that on the contrary to, for example, a corn snake that's very slender, with the bull python you really get an animal with some size. It's not that it gets massive and very, very heavy, but it really does have some size to it. But for many who are getting their very first snake, it might be a, a better experience for them to actually hold something with a more size to them than, for example, a corn snake that's very, uh, very light and might be able to escape more easier, where the bull python that you really have something to hold onto. So that's definitely a plus. Reason number two is that ball pythons in general have a very, very great temper. They're very easygoing, they're very calm, and that means that they will also allow for handling. Even as hatchlings, they will allow you to handle them. And of course, as they get older, when they've gotten used to it, you won't have no trouble at all. In general, ball pythons are very calm, they're curious, and they're a great enjoyment actually to have out because you will see them moving around, just checking out stuff. But of course, the reason why the ball python gets the name ball python is because that when it feels threatened, it kind of curls itself up into this ball. But if you see that, just wait a few more minutes and then the snake will calm down by itself and will start to explore. In general, very good timber. Reason number three is that ball pythons do come in a great variety of colors. That means any color, any pattern combination that you can think of, you will probably find a ball python looking like it. The different combinations of colors and patterns are what is called morph. And right now there are over 1200 different types of morph and more are coming up by the year. So we will see more and more different types of morphs. That means that you can get ball pythons that have a lot of different patterns. They may have stripes, they may have twirls, 
details. You can also get some that are a little bit more subtle in the colors. You can also get some that are just white. They have all these different types of patterns and colors. So there really is a lot to choose from and it can be quite difficult going with just one ball python because when you get that one and you think that one is just amazing, it's beautiful, it has these specific colors and then you see another one who has a completely different kind of colors and patterns and you fall in love with that too. So I have to put a warning out. When you get your first ball python, it's really hard to not get a second as well or even a third, fourth and fifth. Be warned. The next reason is that the ball python actually grows quite fast. It's not like it grows overnight and you buy a tiny ball python and next day, boom, you have a big snake. But it does grow uh, fairly fast, which means that you actually get to follow this process and it's not gonna be too boring. Not, it's not gonna take ages for the snake to grow. And that can be really interesting, especially for children to watch this progress happening. The next reason is that ball pythons are quite easy to house. They don't require that much. Although you really have to be on your toes when it comes to temperature and humidity. They have to be pretty precise for your ball python to thrive. So that's something that you really have to consider. But when we're talking about the housing specifically, the ball python will do just fine with two heights and a water bowl. Of course, I always recommend that you do something extra, you do something more to activate your snake. That means that you include some kind of clutter that could be plastic plants, maybe some branches for your ball python to climb in but you can actually go very very simple for your ball python The next reason is that these guys actually do live quite long. They can live up until 20 years. Now that is quite, quite long. That is even longer than most dogs. So it's really a long-term investment if you're thinking about getting a snake. But the good thing about it is that if you are buying a snake for, for example, your kid and they get tired of it within two or three years, then you can just as easily rehouse the snake again. Snakes, they do not bond the same way as cats and dogs do. So it's quite easily to find a new home for them. Of course, you should never buy a snake or any animal with the intent of just selling it again. But you know, things happen and sometimes that's just how it is. But the good thing about it, it's going to be very easy to rehome your snake. The next reason is one that I know that parents especially do enjoy and that is that the snake doesn't really make any noise. Like for example, uh, a hamster will make some noise when it's running around that little plastic wheel. You won't really hear anything at all from your snake. If you're lucky, you may catch it fart uh, a time or two, but that's the only thing that you will ever hear from them. But I guarantee you that that you will hear. The snake itself is very quiet, doesn't really make any noise. If you listen very, very closely, you might be able to hear it breathe, but that's about it. It's a very, very silent animal to have in your household. Another reason to have the ball python as your first time snake is that it doesn't really smell. The snake itself doesn't really have any smell. Of course, it smells when it poops and it pees, but once you've cleaned it all out, you won't really smell anything. And it also kind of depends on what type of substrate you're using. If you're using some kind of like coconut fiber, it might have a little bit smell to it. But if you're using something else like the newspaper, then you won't really smell anything at all. And last but certainly not least, having a ball python as your first time snake is just overall hacking cool. Like it is the most badass thing to have a snake, especially if you're a parent buying one for your child, I can guarantee you they're gonna be the coolest kid on the block. Having a snake is just awesome. A lot of people are scared of snakes, so you also have to prepare for people being very defensive about you having a snake. But once you get to talk to these people and they actually get to uh, explore or see the snake, they I can almost guarantee you that they will change their mind. When people actually get to see them, get to hold them, they get to see how amazing creatures they are and they completely change how they look at them. Before they were scared, they were uncomfortable, now they're just curious and you know just amazed about these creatures. So last but not least, it's just overall badass to have a snake.
All right, guys, that's all for today. If you have any more reasons why ball pythons makes excellent first-time pet, please post them right down in the comment section for others to see and, of course, for me to see. I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say. Please do remember to have a look at Ana Luisa's webpage. I've linked to it right down in the description box. And do remember that I have the coupon code called JUSTICE10 if you want a 10% discount. I really hope that you guys will check it out. I, for sure, really do love these jewelries. And as you can see, I'm wearing them now and I'm definitely gonna keep on wearing them and I'm definitely gonna order some more, I can guarantee. Since I'm giving these away, I need some more, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed what you see and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you guys for now and bye-bye.